Hello, we're in Cardiff today and it's actually sunny. Can't believe it. We've got three missions today. Mission number one is go and buy a birthday present for one of Isabel's friends who's having a party tomorrow that she's going to. Yeah. Yeah. Mission number two is Izzy's got a class to go to, which I help at. So we're going to go there for some hours and then got to go to my dad's after that for mission number three, which is dropping Izzy off with my dad and I'm heading on to a gig this evening in Porthcool. Carousel's going round. <laughs> chat with a beret and a... Oh, he's just jumping off now. That's naughty. Perhaps it's his carousel. He might be allowed, maybe, rather than just a random adult. He was on the ostrich, was he? <laughs> I am completely encumbered today. I've got snacky bag, camera, rucksack, there's an umbrella on there somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. I got my leather doctor outfit in my bag. Oh yeah, why? Comic Con. That's right, Comic Con tomorrow. Got fez and everything. Woohoo! So where are we going for this present then, Izzy? Tiger. Tiger. Tiger is like the best shop in the world. I love Tiger. Tiger is in St. David's Shopping Centre, which is where we're going right now. Oh, as he's seen, there's a sale on in Claire's, so she's heading in for a quick look. I like cat ears. Cat ears are all the rage among Izzy and her friends. Now, I've never seen donut ears before, but they, they do have them here. She decided it was all still too dear, didn't you? Oh, no. Look, you're supposed to be buying a present for your friend. You don't get to it. Really? Bar. You can see why she likes this shop, don't you? A whole Doctor Who section here. I found things where my earlobes grow. Like are they earrings or are they cufflinks? What's cufflinks? What cufflinks? Well, they're a bit old fashioned now. Something for joining your cuffs together if you're wearing a shirt with no buttons. Well, I presume they're earrings, because look, they're, those two are earrings. Those are earrings, aren't they? Are those ones, sonic screwdriver earrings. Yeah. I don't want dangly earrings, because I have a bad image in my head that they're going to rip my ears. Mm. Your little ears are too small. Your yeah. cloud has gone wonky. Hang they on. always do. <laughs> Yes, you're definitely going to need to grow a bit before you can fit Cybermen on there or they'll just take up the whole head. Here we are, we've arrived at Tiger. Let's see what we can find. Uh. Mm, that's not a bad idea. Citrus squeezer, look. It's a cut with a squeezer on the top for two pounds. Well, she's got her presents, she's secreting them away. Mind you, the birthday will have happened by the time this vlog comes out, but she's being secretive anyway. And I bought myself a present too. I got some travel containers for shampoo and conditioner. This one's facing the wrong way, but it's an alien, honest. There he is, look. It's really, really squidgy, so I'm rather hoping that what normally happens won't happen. And what normally happens is I put all the shampoo or conditioner in them, and then they just get stuck in the container because they're too rigid to squeeze out. But hopefully not anymore. As he's just headed off to look in Primark. Look at all these sweeties they've got for sale. Look at those, wow. Ugh, I'm making my mouth water. I've just got so much weight to carry around with me, with all the stuff. Because uh, we're not home till tomorrow night, you see, so I've got an overnight bag and stuff, as well as gigging gear and laptops and things. So I'm just going to go and wait out there. I'm feeling lazy. I've just popped into the Cardiff Story Museum here in town while Izzy does whatever it is he's doing. She's going to come and meet me back here. Look at this old Cardiff Street. I wonder what era that's from. Doesn't say actually. At least they had a house. These guys look like they're living in a some sort of makeshift construction. That lady there's smoking one of those little clay pipes. So these little uh, characters here are replicas of the animals on the wall that's near the castle. I do believe you can press a button and it makes the noise or something like that. What's this? Is that it? <laughs> what about this one then? Oh yeah. This old wireless. That's an old shop till there. An old Cardiff banknote. 1819. What's from? It doesn't say what 20 is, but what is that? I might be able to find out what that is. It's a touch screen here. Let's see. I'll go for English. 
Hmm. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, this is it, I think. Yeah, let's see. Oh, it's a breathalyzer. I did wonder. How did a Cardiff-based man do battle against drink driving? Find out more by exploring the sources and stories below. Oh, I see. You can uh, touch on the different things to get some different bits of information from different people about it. That's what that till there looks like inside. I've hooked up with the girl again. Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you do anything productive while you were there, Isabel? Yes. What have you been doing? I got a shirt. Did you? For my cosplay. No, right, cosplay. <gasps> that must be for Comic Con yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> Doctor, I need a shirt for the photo. <laughs> so I just bumped into somebody I used to know in the Cardiff Story Museum, so we were chatting away, and then I went outside and I bumped into a homemed mum that I know outside, so we were chatting away. But anyway, we're back on track now. Flags are a flap. Oh, percussion boy's out again. And he's bashing his uh, bits and bobs. Now it's not Ninja. I haven't seen Ninja for ages. Ninja's one of Cardiff. Ni I don't know. Ninja's one of Cardiff's characters, but I haven't seen him for ages. There's a march on here near the top of Cardiff Station. Just been given this. There you go, you can Stop. read it now. Climate change. <laughs> yeah, both of the people that I bumped into that I knew said they've been on the climate change march. So, oh, she's dropped it. It wasn't my fault, the wind blew it out of my it's hat. Awful. We can, we'll have to Google it, is he? Yeah, both the people that I saw that I knew said they've been on the climate change march, so I presume that's the, the end of it. Anyway, right now we're off to get on a train. It's really windy. Very, very windy. Made my hair go vertical. Vertical, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. People everywhere. Found another one. It was on the floor. Good. We're going to go and get busy at Izzy's group now. I'll speak to you later. Ah, shattered now. Just spent all afternoon at Izzy's group. We're now heading to my dad's place on the train. I'm knackered. I'm just quickly answering some comments on my phone. You right, Izzy? Right, had a good e afternoon? Yeah, I had a good day. Cool. You excited for Comic Con tomorrow? Yep. She's been uh, assembling her costumes, don't we? Yeah, I've got a shirt for my 11th Doctor costume. And I've been working on a drawing. Oh, cool. You can see that when you watch the next video. Uh, okay. The great irony is she had to buy herself a school shirt to top up the outfit. She required a shirt and of course she didn't have one. Oh, we can see what the birthday presents are now. What is this on your head? This is her present. No, it's not. It's a load of packaging. This is her. I got her several things. I think she's going to like it. Oh. It's a bus pencil case. Very nice. Every girl's dream. Absolutely. Izzy's made me a lovely cup of tea. I've got to go in literally 15 minutes, so I'm going to guzzle that. I'm going to shove a sandwich down my gob that I just bought in the local shop and brush my very messy hair and head out to the gig. I'm getting picked up by our caller, Mick. And we're off. And it's raining. We're here. We're in Porth Call tonight at the high tide. Go down the middle, followed by the others to turn the set upside down. We are Kayleying. <laughs> a bit like some of the band. What? <laughs> I'm not improper. Very inappropriate. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he should be improper. You're thinking of incontinence. Okay, this is how the dance goes. <laughs> and with your partner, swing. And you finish with the ones facing the twos and the twos facing the ones. String emergency, string emergency. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Reese's D string. <laughs> There's another group of three people all the way around the room. Like lightning, you will witness Reese changing three. the string. Mind you, you couldn't tell he'd broken it by the sound of it. Still sounded fully intact. Don't know how you managed that. Joe's looking yeah. for a person. Yeah? You're looking for a person, Joe. <laughs> 
Yes, this is our spokesman. There we go, and now all I have to do is just string it back up and it should be good as new. Granted that I put the right string on. Well, you need two yeah, you might have put the wrong one on. No, it's, it's oh, the right one. It is raining. Two more people. You're in lines of three facing in another line Done. of three. Yay! You should worry about yourself. I bet most of you have done this dance lots of times, haven't you? No. Representing the, the right antlers of a deer. To the right, to the left, and do a right elbow turn with that person until you get back to the middle. And you can drop the arms now, we've done that bit. Yes. In your little line of three, you're going to do a reel of three. One, two, snap, snap, snap. Back, two, snap, snap, snap. Introduction coming up. I think the fiddler is. You're having a nervous breakdown. Who's out there? You people out there. Don't look at me. Look at this. I, I think he's trying to do madness, but it's not working. <laughs> Don't watch that. Watch this. This is the heavy, heavy monster sound. We're <laughs> doing a waltz now. He's just uh, talking it through. It's still raining. It's a gypsy. Try not to laugh. Have you walked around with This is a gypsy, apparently. It turns out that the gypsy so is the sexiest moment in folk dancing. Yes, and have you done one? And let's go, man's left hand, lady's right hand, turning back. Come on, spill. Right. I don't like to tell. Enjoy hands behind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be asking your boy if he's done a gypsy. Let's go, left, man's left hand, lady's right hand, turning back. Come on, spill. I don't like to tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be asking your boy if he's done a gypsy. Have you done a gypsy? Bye bye everybody, night night. <laughs>
think it's the way out. Is this yeah, the way out? it is. Okay. Uh, raining. Okay, camera going away. And we're off. Uh, it's about half past twelve at night. I've literally just got in to my dad's place, and I'm the only one up. They're all asleep. They're all in bed. Isabel's still awake. She came and said hello and went back into bed again. I'm knackered. I'm going to end the vlog there. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like if you liked it. Comment down any thoughts below and hit the subscribe button to follow more of our adventures. And I'll see you in the next one. Good night.